What's going on YouTube? Let's talk about the GC553 Live Gamer Ultra by Avermedia. This capture card allows you to capture uh, your new Xbox Series S and X and PS5 at 120 frames per second and be able to output 120 frames per second. Now let me explain what I mean by that. When you're using a capture card, your Xbox output is coming out at the back of the Xbox going to your capture card. Now, if your capture card is going to be producing an output of 60 frames per second, that means you'll only be playing 60 frames per second on your monitor that you're seeing while you're playing the game. But if you use this graphics card, Live Gamer Ultra, you'll be able to capture and play 120 frames per second. This is the only standing external capture card in the market which is capable of doing that. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set this up with your new Xbox and how to get the best potential outcome from this card and get it on recorded onto Streamlabs OBS. So in order to capture from your Xbox onto your PC, you'll essentially need four items. Um, the Avermedia capture card, the HDMI cable which comes with the capture card, and a USB-C to a USB cable which also comes with the capture card. The item that does not come is an, an extra HDMI cable which you will need basically to output your Xbox into your Avermedia capture card. Now the cable that you're using from your Xbox to your monitor or your TV can also work for this, but I do recommend getting an ultra high speed HDMI cable so there is no lag, input lag or latency when you're playing the game. So once you have the capture card, the capture card has two sides. One side essentially contains the HDMI in and HDMI output. Now to set it up, you're going to have one side of HDMI plugged into your Xbox. Um, the other end of the HDMI will go right into HDMI in. Now remember, you don't have anything connected from your Xbox to monitor any longer. Whatever used to go to your monitor will now go to HDMI in. The other end will have HDMI out. This is essentially the side that will connect into your monitor. So you're going to have an HDMI cable going into HDMI out and the other side will be going into your monitor. On the other side of the capture card, we have the USB-C 3.1 cable. So the cable that comes with the Avermedia card already works with this and then the other side will go into your laptop. Now it is very, very, very important to remember that you must have a 3.0 or above USB jack. If you do not have USB 3.0 in your PC, you will be in trouble because the Avermedia card will not work and you will not be able to game capture or stream using the Avermedia card. Now let's get into Streamlabs OBS to discuss how we can set this up into Streamlabs. Now essentially, once you have your Live Gamer Ultra plugged into your Xbox, uh, so your Xbox cable will be going into HDMI 1 as I said earlier and then your HDMI output will be going into your monitor. Now once you plug in the USB-C and the other side into your computer, make sure your computer is USB 3.0 as I said earlier, you're going to launch Streamlabs OBS. Now I'll be making more videos to explain how OBS really works but I'm going to show you how to get the input of the Xbox into your Streamlabs OBS. So you're going to create a new scene in here. You're going to essentially click the plus sign. You're going to call it a new scene and just name it whatever you want. And once you're in the new scene, it'll show up right here. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to, uh, I already had a scene named capture card. So I'm going to go to that scene. And then once I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and click add sources. Once you hit add sources, you're going to click video capture device. Once you do that, you're going to hit add source and in here, you're going to call it add a new source instead and call this one gameplay video. Gameplay video and hit add source. Now, once you're on this screen, this is where you will see live gamer ultra video number three. You should, yours should say video number one, but I've made multiple devices. That's why it's video number three. You're going to click this. And for Mac users, you're going to change this to high. That's the only setting you can use for in, a, in order for OBS to capture your uh, game capture. So once you have that, you're going to hit done. And here you can see that my Xbox is now on this screen. And I can control my Xbox with my controller. And you can see that it's coming in here. And you're pretty much set up to stream from here. Once you click go live, you know, whatever is on here will be 
getting displayed onto your Twitch or wherever it is that you're broadcasting to. I'm going to bring my webcam layer forward so you can see me. And here I am. So this is pretty much how you have the Twitch stream set up and you're ready to go live. So I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to leave any comments or any questions in the comments below. And I will be sure to get right back to everybody. And thank you so much for checking out my channel. Also, please subscribe to my Twitch channel at Mini Potato X. I stream Call of Duty Warzone. So hope to see you guys there. And thank you so much.